We knew it was gonna happen eventually. The deer found our garden. We planted some sweet potatoes in a back row and they came in at night and nibbled off all that fresh new growth on those plants. They even pulled a couple of the plugs back out of the, the ground. Now, if you've seen some of our other videos, we're gonna eventually put in a serious fence system around this whole quarter, half acre, what we're calling our garden area on the farm. So six by six posts and wire, we can even make it electric if we have to. But that's gonna take time and effort and money, which we aren't gonna to get to soon enough to protect the plants that we've already got in the garden. So I had seen this video, um, gosh, a while back about a, a really cheap and simple solution to putting up deer fencing around your garden. I thought, well, we'll give it a shot. So we have, and it's working great. So I wanted to explain this, what we have done, and talk about a, a few issues that were mentioned in the comments of that video. So we went to Tractor Supply and got eight foot T-posts. These are $6.49 right now, the time we're making this video, and a spool of 30 pound monofilament fishing line. And we've got it run up to, what is this, about five feet off the ground right now, spaced out about a foot apart, except for the bottom three feet, we've got it tied off every six inches. The idea behind this, I think, is that especially at night when the deer come in, this 30 pound monofilament, it's strong enough that the deer can't break it. You can really push on this and it will not break. It will give, but it won't break but it's thin enough that the deer can't see it. And I, I suspect the way this works is, is as they try to walk into this, they're gonna hit this, not be able to tell what it is, and it's probably gonna freak them out. And since they try and, if they try and go around, uh, they're not gonna be able to get in anywhere. It will push them back. They also can't see how high up it goes either. We could add another uh, string if we needed to up higher, if we had a sense that they were going over it. A couple of things, the guy that did this, came up with this idea and did the original video says, don't tie any strings or flags or anything on here to keep you or other people from walking through it. Because when you make the, the fishing line visible for people, you're also making it visible for the deer. It seemed like a couple of people made comments that uh, they said that the deer got through the fishing line, but they said they had the string two feet apart. I'm not sure why someone would think that having it two feet apart would work because the deer could very easily step through it uh, or even get their head started going through it and figure out that they could just get their legs over it. Uh, the other thing is, is that I think some folks mentioned if the deer come in during the day, they're gonna be able to possibly see this uh, or even at night, if you have a light up, it may illuminate. This stuff is designed so that it will pick up a little bit of light and you can see it. So you really need it in a no light area in your garden at night and during the day. I guess you could just run a lot more string. That would be what I would do. It's a cheap, it's a cheap solution is just run it every three or four inches and have it go up. You can also get 10 foot T-posts if, if you want. So you could go up much higher, put the post about a foot in the ground and you could run line up to about nine feet off the ground. One other thing I think comments people said is that uh, in the morning, if a lot there was a lot of dew, you might get water droplets on the fishing line, which would help the deer see where the line was. But again, I think if you could just create a wall of fishing line every so many inches apart, they're not gonna go through it and it will keep them out. Now, in terms of getting into this, you have to obviously leave an opening somewhere. We had originally put these posts in and used them for trellising up the peas and tying up tomato plants. That's kind of a, a mistake. Uh, we will probably end up driving another post in here and tying off these strings there so that we can easily walk and get around. But the idea is the same, just leave a space where you can get in. We've just been parking our tractor here temporarily, so I don't think a deer is gonna figure out, and it hasn't anyways, walking around and getting into here. Uh, the other thing you might do is kind of like a cattle gate type thing where you could have a post and two other posts, sort of a Y shape that went around it that you could go around, but it would be very hard for a deer to get around. So we have had this up for about two weeks or more and it's working. I, I know that in the comments in the other videos, some people said it didn't work for us. It has worked beautifully because we've got sugar snap peas here and uh, radishes over here, field peas coming up and then sweet potatoes. Nothing has been touched 
all of those things are deer's favorite food and none of them have been touched since we put this fence system up. So it's obviously working really well. So what are you gonna need to put it up? Well, minimally, you need six T-posts. We've got ours, it's, there, it's a 50 foot long area, about 20 feet wide with six posts. Now, so we've got fishing line running 50 feet long and have had no issues. I mean, you can pull it tight enough that you know, it's kept the deer out. So that's uh, 42 bucks in T posts. We got about a thousand feet, 380 some yards of uh, 30 pound monofilament fishing line for about $7 at Walmart. You can get one of these post drivers, which this is a 17 pound post driver. So there's a weight, weight up here, hole here and handles for holding on to this, set it down. This is $25. If you're going to be setting a lot of T posts, it makes your life easy to just put this on here and drive it down. But you could just use a hammer or a sledgehammer to put these into the ground. So you don't really need that. So for about 50 bucks, we have put up a fence system that seems to be working. And again, uh, it, it's cheap. It's replace easily replaceable. The T posts will last. Well, they'll outlast me and it's working. So if you need to put up a fence, uh, I can't guarantee it will work in your situation. I, I don't know, but if, if you want to put try something uh, pretty cheap and what has been effective for a number of people, I'd highly recommend this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video here from St. Isidore's Farm. Take care and God bless.